Welcome to Power for Your Living podcast with Prophet Daniela Mwating, a timely, inspirational, and revelational message to restore your life and destiny. This message gives you the power to live your best life given to you by God. Now, to today's message. Um, and, um, um, this week I'm teaching, never ever let this live your life. When God hides his face away from you, and when God shines his face on you, which of them do you want to be at? When God hides his face away from you, and when God shines his face on you, where do you want to be? Amen. Ask the person around you, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? I'm just asking you one more time, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? For the last time, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Amen. 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 Um, let's go right now. Let's go right now. Psalm 10 verse number 11. Um, um, give me KGV, please. Amen. Give me KGV. He says, he has said in his heart, God has forgotten. He hides his face. He will never see it. He hides his face. He will never see it. Oh, oh please keep it there. I only mentioned one. Yeah. He hides his face. He will never see it. Help me to speak to somebody on your left and right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Make sure. Make sure. God doesn't hide. God doesn't hide. His face. His face. Away from you. Away from you. You may be seated. Now, first service, you've done very well to rain in the morning for you to be here. First service. Amen. Um, I know second and third service people, they are, they are still sleeping. Amen. And they will wake up around 9.30. Then they will come and join us. Amen. At the second and third services. Now, before I proceed, um, if you are here and you are from the age of, um, let's say, from zero years. I know the youth are in their place learning, but from, um, from zero to the age of 30 years, give me your right hand and let me see something up to the age of 30 years. Great, 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 great. Um, um, if you are up to the age of 30 years, the number of weekends, let's say the number of Sundays you have enjoyed on earth, if you are, lift up your hand one more time. The number of Sundays you have enjoyed on earth. Sometimes we take some of these things for granted. The number of weekends or the number of Sundays only you have enjoyed on earth. If you are up to the age of 30 years, can I tell you? Sir. Can I tell you? Sir. 1,560 days. The number of Sundays you have ever enjoyed. Let me see those up to the age of 40 years. Let me see those up to the age of 40 years. The number of Sundays you have seen. It's 2,080 Sundays. 2,080 Sundays. Now, those who have moved to, up to 50 years, give me your hand right now. 2,600 Sundays. 2,600 Sundays. You are not clapping because you don't understand. Amen. Jesus. And those up to, those up to 60 years, um, 3,120 Sundays. 3,120 Sundays. And those who have jumped to 70 those who have jumped up to 70, uh, 3,640 Sundays. If you are here and God has given you this number of Sundays, I want you to pause and bless his holy name. Yes, sir. Appreciate his holy name for God has been good Jesus. and for his mercies endure it forever. Amen. 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 Now help me with illustration, please. Amen. I want you to stand here and I want another protocol to stand here. And I want somebody to stand in, in the middle as God. Amen. Thank you very much, man of God. Amen. So um, this man represents God, right? And now God is watching this man. Can you face him? So when we say God is shining his face on somebody, it means the person is catching God's attention. So God is shining his face on this man. Now the second thing that is the most dangerous place to be is when God hides his face away from you. And that one, God's back is, God, you are watching God's back. He has hidden his face away from you. When God hides his face away from a person, you, there's no way you can ever stand in life. Some of the principles and the revelations we teach in this church is to help you to be more connected to God. Because you can't jump and shout, God, give me a miracle, give me a testimony, show up in my life, and his face is hidden away from you. That's right. When God hides his face away from you, who can support you? Who can fight for you? When you are in trouble, who will you go to? Tell, tell the person around you, make sure, make sure he doesn't hide his face. He doesn't hide his face. Away from you. Away from you. Now, what are some of the things that happens to a person when God hides his face away from the person? Number one, he never sees you. 
It means even if you are crying, he, he doesn't recognize you. Number two, from what we read, God always easily forgets you. I pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus. that God will never forget you ever in your life. Oh, oh, your loudest amen will be the first amen. to receive it. And the third one is this. The third one is this. The third one is this. He causes your enemies, hear me right now, to defeat you. Ezekiel chapter 39 verse number 23. He causes your enemies to defeat you. Ezekiel chapter 39 verse number 23. He causes your enemies just to defeat you. He says, and the nations who know that the people of Israel went to exile for their sin because they were unfaithful to me. I hid my face from them and handed them over to their enemies. When he hides his face away from you, he hands you over to your enemies. Your enemy is not the person only wishing you evil. Cancer is your enemy. That's right. Depression is your enemy. Poverty is your enemy. There's a book I'm writing right now. It's called The Five Enemies of Man. Number one is premature death. The second one is attack on your health. The next one is poverty. And the next one is wrong association. And the last one is wrong environment. These are the greatest enemies of man. When God hides his face from a person, he sells you over to your enemies. If you are here perhaps by any virtue, God has hidden his face. I release the grace of mercy over you right now. Yeah. Number four, number four, number four is in Psalm 10, number one. Psalm 10, number one. Let's see right now. The fourth thing that happens to when God, when God hides his face from a person, he hides his face from a person. Hear me? This is what happens to the person. He, he leaves you in times of trouble. In times of trouble, if God is not there to support you, who will be there? But when he hides his face from a person, in times of trouble, God is nowhere to be found. Lift up your hands and shout mercy. Mercy. One more time, let's go. Mercy. And the, and, and, and the fifth one I'm giving you to today, I've told you I have about 60. I'm giving you five because I'm doing a lot of things for you today. Um, the fifth one is this. When you cry to him, he doesn't answer. Micah chapter 3 verse number 4. When you cry to him, he doesn't answer. Micah 3 verse 4. He says, then they will cry out to the Lord, but he will not answer them. At that time, he will hide his face from them because of the evil. Imagine you screaming, you praying, God help me, God support me. God show up in my life and God is not answering. I pray that God is getting ready to answer you in Amen. Jesus' name. Because in as much as God becomes angry, he has the power to give us the solution. Jesus. And today may he give us divine solution in Jesus' Amen. name. Now let me give you, um, when God shines his face on a person, what happens to the person? Number one, when God shines his face on a person, when God shines his face on a person, number one, he leads your path. He leads you in your path. He leads you and makes sure that he orders your steps. This is the second thing, and I like this one very well. Uh, you are always in the presence of God. You live in the presence of God because the P.O. box address of God is the presence of God. Anywhere God is, that's the address of God. So anytime he signs his face on you, he lives around you. You are in the presence of the living God. Can I give you number three? Sure. Number three. And anytime you call him, he answers you. And he shows up in your life at the right time, at the right place. Today, I pray that God will show up in your life at the right time, at the right Amen. place. And can I give you number four? Number four, let me give you from Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 13. The, um, um, the, the number four is in Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 13. It says, but everything, expo uh, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. Because when he shines his face on you, you go through illumination. Jesus. Now, when you go through the illumination, his face is shining on you. The answer is in verse number 14. Let's go to now, verse number 14. It says, it says, that is why it said, Wake up, sleeper. Rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Jesus. So when he shines his face on me, number one, even if I was dormant, even if I was dormant, nothing was moving on in my life, I become active yes, in Jesus' Lord. name. And also, hear me right now, the shadow of death is broken. Jesus. Today, by the face and the signing of God, yes, if anybody here was marked for death, Jesus. there was a death date, a death month against you, yes, because his fight shining his face on you, Jesus. you have escaped the death. Shout, I escaped the death. I escaped the death. He says, even if you are a sleeper, he will tell you, awake and rise up. 
If anything in your life is dormant, if there's one organ in your life that is not actively Jesus. responding right now, by the reason of the power of God yes. right now, Lord. let that organ rise up now. Amen. I speak rejuvenation. Amen. I speak regeneration. Amen. I speak power in that organ. Amen. Shout, let there be power. Let there be power. In my organs. In my organs. Amen. 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 Auntie. You've left your weapon behind. This is your weapon. That's true. You, your weapon, your weapon. Never leave your weapon behind. Amen. So the fourth one, you escape death. And the next one, you don't become dormant in every area. You become very active in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Daniel, what are some of the things that causes God to hide his face from a person? What are some of the things? All of them I'm giving you for five. Number one, when a person is full of jealousy and hatred, it's very dangerous. Jesus. If you are jealous and you go through hatred, he will hide his face away from you. Ask your neighbor around you, are you, are you jealous of me? Are you jealous of me? Uh, um, number two, number two, number two, number two. Uh, please, I beg you, don't answer the person even right now. Number two, number two. Let, let, let's go to number two. Number two. When you, hear me, when you fool people to leave God, church, and also to stop them from giving. There's somebody, oh, don't go to church. God has nothing to offer you. You're going to give all your money to all these pastors. They are going to chop your money. Listen to me. If you are a fool for that, he hides his face from That's you. That's right. Because in trouble, nowhere to be found. Jesus. Let's go to num the, the third one. Can I give number the third one? Yes, sir. You always seek the downfall of other people. People who always see the downfall of other people, it causes God to hide his face from them. Because somebody could have asked me a question, Pastor Daniel. Definitely, we know that the only way that God will cause his face to live, um, hide from somebody is when somebody sins. There are different types of sins. That's right. Okay, I, I, I'm not teaching about sin today. We have written sins. This sin is bigger than this one and this. I'm telling you, all of them are the same. That's right. I was coming to tell you something, but I, 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 I will not say Any person who causes division. That's right. Any person who causes division. Jesus. The Bible said, mark those who cause division. But the Bible said, the one who causes fornication, restore them. That's right. But it says, but those who are causing division, mark them and take. Jesus. Okay, it's a different preaching altogether. Number four. Can I give you number four? Yes, sir. If you actually, you sit down and lie on your neighbor to be in trouble. Jesus. You know that thing was blue. You said it was green. And because of that, your neighbor entered into trouble. It causes God to um, hide his face away from you. And let me give you number five. Can I give you number five? Yes, sir. When you are never in life connected to any altar. Because in the days of trouble, a particular altar has to speak for you. That's right. And which altar will speak for you? Because it is the altar that brings answers. Jesus. If you don't have an, a, an altar, where will your answers come from? Okay. Now, what will cause God to shine his face on me? Can I tell you? Yes, sir. Number one, the mercy of God. Everybody in life, let me tell you the truth, you need mercy. You need mercy. You need mercy. If it's not mercy, you cannot even move from your bed today. That's right. The same time you told everybody around you, I'm going to sleep the, the same time last night. Somebody slept at the same time. Right now, they are still knocking at their doors. Jesus. And you are here because of mercy. Yes, Lord. This is the next one. When you love and care for people genuinely. When you love and care for people genuinely. Unconditional love. Some people love you because of what they will get from you. That's right. Some people love you based on your current condition. Jesus. But the moment your condition changes, what will happen? That's right. But you love the person even if they have nothing. And some of you after service, you don't greet everyone. You greet the one that you are looking at the car that they came out from. Jesus. But I, I, I might come to church without a car, right. but just give me a short time. Jesus. My story will change. Amen. And God will show you himself strong. Yes, Amen. Lord. But let me give you good news. It's not in the testimony city. Because our car park is always full. Everybody has a car. And those who don't have a car, receive it tomorrow in the name of Amen. Jesus. This, this is the next one. A person who easily knows how to tell God to forgive them. Yes, sir. 
Some people live in guilt all their life. So even about, before they pray, God, I'm a sinner. I don't think he'll hear me. Okay, let me just stop going to church because I'm, I'm so guilty. No. The Bible says if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just. That's Do right. you know the good thing? When I'm confessing my sins, it's not to a human being. That's right. When I'm confessing my sins, it's not to my friend. Jesus. Because when my friend hears my sins, my friend will use it against me. Yes, but when I go to God, yes, there's... Lord. Jesus. That's when I'm confessing my sin, I'm not going to any pastor to confess my sin to. But the pastor, I'm going for forgiveness to confess my sin. I don't know what the pastor too has done. That's right. But I need to go to God for forgiveness. Jesus. Now, um, there was a woman in America. And people killed her. That woman was working miracles and so many other things. And people also go there for confession. Then one day, one man who's an atheist actually went to the woman and, and wanted to know what other people were confessing about. So... The man went to the woman and said, the guy who just left, what did he confess about? And do you know what the woman said to the man? The woman said to the man, I can't remember what the person came to confess. Jesus. Because the moment we confess, God forgets what we did. That's right. Jesus. So can I speak to you right now? Yes, sir. Jehovah has forgiven you. Amen. The blood of Jesus has forgiven you. Amen. Stretch your hands on the altar and say, God, God forgive me. Forgive me. Now, if there's any sin you have committed Jesus. that is going to affect your generation, Jesus. let the altar of mercy, yes, Lord. 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 let the altar of mercy. Yes, Lord. But hear me right now. It doesn't give you the warrant to go and always sin. That's Amen. Right. Number four, number four, number four, prayer and fasting. That's right. Sincere, hear me right now. Sincere prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting. You go to God. Say, God, have mercy on me. Forgive me. Because the moment, hear me, the moment you go through fasting, you deny yourself some things. The moment you deny yourself, it's a genuine form of repentance. Amen. And this is the last one. Being connected to an active altar. Being connected to an active altar. You know, when they built the temple in Jerusalem, when Solomon was, uh, was showing them the kind of prayer to pray, they said, God, if your people even sin and they are in captivity in another nation, and they reach out and cry towards this altar, remember them, forgive them, and says, and God will forgive them. May the hand of God surprise you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Now, let me tell you the next thing here. Now, because God has hidden his face from a person, sometimes there are pains and some issues that we go through. Micah chapter 6, verse number 14, NLT. And see there, right there, see it right there. But that will not be the end of whatever that we are going through. Um, look at it right now. It says, you will eat and never have enough. Your anger, pangs, and emptiness will remain. And even though you try to save your money, it will come to nothing in the end. And the little you have saved, I will give to those who conquer you. Jesus. Lift up your hands. I'll repeat it one more time. I told you this series that I'm teaching you right now is not a, a, teach, a series that you will jump and scream. It's something that will let you think. And I'll pause at the women's convention. I'll continue small. And two weeks to next level conference, I'll teach you about conferences. He says, you will eat and never have enough. If God has ever hidden his face Jesus. from us, and because of that, we eat. Eating and never having enough, that doesn't mean you go and buy bunku, but still you are not full. It means whatever that you do, you still don't enjoy. That's right. You work so hard, but you are never satisfied. Jesus. You get your salary, but nothing to write home about. Somebody gets the same salary, has built a house for me. But only you as if somebody is dividing your money with you. Today, if anybody is here with this case, Jesus. He says, and you will go to emptiness. Anything that has caused you emptiness, yes, Lord. let the blood of Jesus deliver you Amen. right now. Come out of it now. Amen. And, 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 and this is the danger side. You try to save your money, but it comes to nothing in Jesus. the end. Jesus. And even the little you have invested, the little you have saved, Jesus. somebody comes to conquer. That's right. uh, Pastor Daniel, why an armed robber come to conquer? No. 
The moment I get my money, that's the time somebody falls sick. Jesus. The moment I get my money, that's when my engine breaks down. So somebody coming for you, not somebody coming to steal from you. Something happens. There be a, when you have not gotten money, you are cool. When Jesus. When money shows up, now some was oh, the moment money shows up, phone call. Uncle Yare. May God remember you in Jesus' Amen. name. Oh, your amen is suffering from diabetes. Amen. Sound the loudest amen. Amen. Shout it one more time. Amen. Say Jehovah. Jehovah. Show up in my life. Show up in my life. And now, if you have ever gone through this one, this is not the end. There is a solution. Give me the same Micah 4.4. 4. Look at the solution. The same Micah 4.4. 4. There's a solution. This one, let's all read together. It's for everyone. Let's go. Everyone will live in peace and prosperity. And join their, their own grave vines and fig trees. For there, there will be nothing, nothing to fear. The Lord, Lord of heaven's army, army has, has made this promise. Jesus. Oh, can I declare? Yes, Lord. With what we first read, even if you have gone through, as his causes his face to shine Jesus. on you, he says, everyone will live in peace and prosperity. Yes, Lord. Today I speak over your peace. Yes, Lord. I speak over your prosperity. Amen. Anything you do, you shall prosper by the mercies of Amen. God. So I will prosper. I will prosper. And listen, listen to me. There are four types of prosperity. And never ever forget. We have health prosperity when your health is okay. We have financial prosperity Jesus. when there is money. We have time prosperity when you have freedom. And the last one is have social prosperity when God gives you a social status in the society. That's right. So today I give you all these four types yes, of prosperity. Lord. I give you all these four types of prosperity. Amen. It says you live in peace and prosperity and everyone enjoying their own. It means whatever you have fought for, you have worked for, Jesus. you'll enjoy and he said, this promise is not coming from the Dalai Lama, but this promise, he says, the Lord has made this promise. When he shines his face on you, this is your promise. Walk in this promise. Amen. Oh, the last to say the amen is the first to receive amen. it. I said, walk in this promise in the name of Jesus. Amen. And give me the same Micah chapter 7 verse number 18. And give me the NIV. Then I'll go to my last point. The NIV. Look at it now. So hear me. In case... You think he has hidden his face from you. He has an answer for you. That's right. He says, who is a God like you? Who pardons sins and forgive the transgression of the remnant of his inheritance? You do not stay angry forever, but you delight to show. Jesus. Those who are clapping have gotten the revelation. Yes, Lord. He says, who is a God like you? Who forgives? You do not stay angry forever. So God is saying, although I can hide my face away from you, but it will not be forever. Yes, Lord. Although I've hidden my face away from you, a day is coming, I will turn my face Jesus. towards you. If God's face was hidden away from your family, yes, Lord. by this altar, Jesus. may we go back in Jesus' name. Amen. And now this is where I end. When God smiles his face on a person, hear me right now. Uh, when God shines his face on a person, it simply means he is smiling on you. That's right. South, he's smiling on me. He's smiling on me. So Numbers chapter 6, I'm going back to the gift of God. Numbers chapter 6, verse number 20, you and be gracious to you. So when God um, shines his face on you, the message Bible says he smiles on you. So God shining his face, so look at the transition. When God is shining on you, it means he is smiling on you. That's right. When he is smiling on you, he gives you a gift. That's right. So now somebody shout a gift. A gift. Now the gift of God, the gift of God. Pastor Daniel, what is the gift of God? I'm glad you asked me. This is the meaning for the gift of God. I can come right now. Um, there are two people. Uh, when God shines his face on you, he gives you a gift. This is a gift of God. And when God hides his face from you, it is, called, it is called the grievous evil. When God signs his face on you, it is called the gift of God. Oh, good class. Let's go. Let's go. 
The gift of God. No, some of you are, 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 are slow. Let's bring the yellow bars. Let's go one more time. The gift of God. Perfect. So when God shines his face on you, he gives you the gift of God. But when God hides his face away from you, he, it is called evil. Now, Pastor Daniel, what is the gift of God? Now, the gift of God simply means when God gives you wealth and he gives you the ability to enjoy, Jesus. it is called the gift of God. Yes, um, let's go right now. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 19. So, the gift of God, when you talk about the gift of God, hear me right now. Let's all read together so you can understand. Let's go. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possession and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot, and be happy in their toil. This is the gift of God. So when you make wealth and you have the ability, let's see wealth, that's wine. So wealth is wine. Anywhere there's wine, it will be any age. So um, when God gives you wealth and he gives you the ability to enjoy, it is called the gift of God. Now let's go to 6 verse 2. 6 verse 2. 6 verse 2. If he hides his face from you, it's called the evil. And let's read it. Look at it. Look at it right there. Let's go. God gives some people wealth, wealth possession, and, and honor, so that, that they lack nothing their heart desires. desires. But God, God does not grant them the ability to enjoy them, and strangers enjoy them instead. This is meaningless and grievous evil. So when God signs his face on you, he gives you the gift of God. Put one on your head. Between these two, which one do you want? That's right. I gave a promise on last week, our Tuesday, Wednesday, that uh, some of my garments have worn that they've not taken to the dry cleanliness. I want them to cut it to 3,000 pieces and give to people. Amen. Those I told them to do, I think they are very busy. They have not been able to do it. I promise you this week, I'll give everyone as point of contact. Now, Father, let this one be a point of contact for the gift Jesus. of God around me. Yes, Lord. A point of contact. The gift of God. And hear me, this gift of God comes to a person through grace. Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 8. It comes through grace. It comes through grace. It comes through grace. It comes through grace. Look at it right now. It says, It is by grace you have been saved through faith. This is not from yourselves, right. it is the gift, gift of, of God. God. So, this gift of God comes by grace. Put your hand on your head. Jesus. Why should somebody make wealth? He says, and strangers enjoy it instead. This is meaningless. I speak by fire. Yes, Lord. Somebody shout grace. Grace. Shout grace. Grace. Shout grace. Grace. Shout let the grace of God. Let the grace of God. Speak for me. Speak for me. Fight for me. Fight for me. I walk in the gift of God. I walk in the gift of God. In the next one, we begin to pray. Media, give me. The, the, the evil one at the sun where the princes are walking and servants are, are sitting on horses. Um, speak right now. Everybody speak right now. Speak right now. Let the strength of God. Grace of God. Gift of God. Let there be the gift of God. Put your hand down. Do you know, put your hand down. Many people are asking. And, Anytime the Bible is talking about the gift, it says it is the gift of God. There are different types. We have the gift of God and gifts of God. That's right. One day I'll teach about it. We have the gift. Someone say gift of God. Gift of God. And we have the gifts of God. That's right. Anytime the Bible says gift of God, he's talking about this one. That's right. Make wealth and enjoy. When the Bible says gift of God, it's about prophecy, deliverance, miracle. Jesus. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. Um, Romans chapter 12, verse number 6. So all, all the time, don't confuse the gifts and gift. Romans chapter 12, verse number 6. Don't confuse them. It says, we have different gifts. gifts. According to the grace given each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then pro so, so prophesying, doing miracles, all of them are gifts. Yes. But when the Bible says gift, then it's this one. Today, I came to give you that. Amen. Oh, I can feel. Do you have the right now for it? Let's go. Uh, this is my last test, then we've moved. He says, there is an evil, one of the other evils. When God signs, hides his face from you, there's another type of evil. I've seen under the sun. Jesus. The sort of error that arises from a ruler. And what is it? Fools are put in high positions. Jesus. While the rich occupy the low ones. Jesus. Yes. 
Now, this is what I like. I have seen slaves on horseback. That's right. Whilst princes go on foot like slaves. Jesus. One more time. Look at it right now. Somebody who is a prince walking barefoot. And the slave is riding Rolls Royce. Jesus. It's an arrow. That's right. Because the horse is for the prince. So it means the prince's horse has been taken by the slave. Jesus. Today, if any yes, Lord. slave has taken your horse. Jesus. Today, I came to bring back your horse. Enough. Receive it by the message of I God. Receive it. I'm done. Be on your feet. Jesus. Amen. Be on your feet. You have to let second service people to come and enjoy. Lift up your right hand. Thank you. Thank you. One, one prayer. Then we watch two testimonies. Now there's one testimony that when, when, when we, we hear and we watch, most, most people will jump and go home. I promise you, if, if you like, let's go to bed. 10,000, 1,000. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Do not hide. Do not hide. Your face. Your, your face. face. Away from me. Away from me. In the next three minutes, begin to pray. No music on the background. Talk to God. Talk to God. That God, even if you've hidden your face from me in one area of my life, if this altar is potent, if you are on this altar, then God shine your face on me. Somebody pray right now. No music on the background. Speak to God. He will never hide his face away from you. Speak right now. These are the revelations that will connect you to a higher source of yourself. Moving you from your consciousness to your subconscious. When he shines his face over your destiny. You are connected to the place of elevation. God, don't hide your face away from my family. I promise on the Tuesday or Wednesday I will give you the Tokens that have been torn, that have been cut. Spirit of God, let your power fall. Let your mercy fall. Let your power fall. God, shine your face on us. Shine your face on us. Shine, shine your face on us. Shine your face on us. Shine your face on us. And Father, shine your face on us tomorrow as well. Because we don't know what to come of us tomorrow. By sign your face on us for our tomorrow. For our next month. For our next week. If there's any disease. That will take us out. And cause us to be vegetable. Sign your face. And deliver us. Sign your face. When you sign your face. You give us more testimonies. The reason why we have testimonies over here. Is because God has been good. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Whatever I say, you shout your loudest amen you can ever master. Yeah. Amen. May Jehovah shine his face upon us. Amen. May Jehovah shine his face on our families. Amen. May he never hide his face away from us. Amen. May God restore us. Amen. Even if he has hidden his face away from us, may he forgive us. Amen. May God give us mercy. Amen. We receive the gift of God. Amen. You may be seated. Jesus. Last Wednesday after the service, whilst we were living over here, one young girl gave me a passport and said, Papa, this is my visa. And I said, hold on, give it to me on Sunday. So that we test. I said, Papa, I'm going on Saturday. I said, don't go. I'm angry. You shouldn't go on the Saturday. We have to give your testimony. He said, Papa, I need to go on the Saturday because Sunday I cannot be here. And Papa, it's a strange thing. I said, no problem. When I finish everything, let's go up there. So around 11, when I finished seeing about 80 people, we went up there. And what is the case of the lady? Number one, nobody has ever traveled around. The only person who traveled in their family, hear me right now, was the brother who went to Dubai. So um, she said 2022, she was dating this guy. And um, she had a, an issue with the guy. The guy left her painfully. So she came to church. She was down. And she said, I would already told her, God will restore her. And said that, that, that was the time Dr. Mark also came to preach over here. And in the course of prophecy, Dr. Mark told her, don't go back. But God is going to remember her. 
So she took a mantle and she wrote on it, I received my God-given marriage. So this time around, she's in pain. She doesn't know what to do. This girl does, I think, nails. And um, um, she's a beautician. So one day she was there. She didn't have a job. And she was home. Then she had a phone call from the workplace that a client has come and the client wants her to do her, her, her beauty for her. And she said, I'm tired. They kept calling her that if you don't come, the client says you're the only one that can do. So he said she quickly took off and she went to do the hair for the client. When she finished, she was tired. So he said she wanted to pass through the Malcolm Mall to go and buy ice cream. Whilst walking by the Malcolm Mall, she met a white man. And the white man looked at her and looked at her and said to her, I want to marry you. That's right. She, she, she thought the white man was joking because you don't know me. Why do you want to marry me? The white man said, I came to Ghana to marry somebody. But my mind has changed. You are the one I want Jesus. to marry. Jesus. Don't clap. I'm telling you, listen. As if it's a joke. In the evening, the white man came with a friend to her house. Came to see the family and said, that, this girl, I want to marry her. So the family members are come. They don't know what to do. The man goes back to America. From America, by the way. Goes back to America. Three months time, the man tells them they need to do her traditional. So the man is in America. The girl's traditional has been made. When traditional was made, she had a phone call from a hometown. People, they did it in Accra. Family members from hometown went up. Had a phone call from the hometown. And they said, we have heard she just got married. That's right. She'll marry for us to see. Jesus. She quickly came to the altar with her mantle. I prayed for her and said to her that it will never happen. She said, prophet, until one of my aunties told me that you, you amount to nothing. You'll be like a vulture. Jesus. She said, no way. It will never happen. She came. She brought her passport. We wrote, um, did directions on the mantle and said, may God come true for her. And to the glory of God, she has gotten the visa. Jesus. So hear me. The reason why she's forcing to go on Saturday is because the man says, the moment you land on Sunday, Monday, we are going to register to register in America. Jesus. And maybe you don't understand. When a white man, and this man is a blessed man, I'm talking to you, a blessed man. If a blessed man in America wants to do signing for you, you don't know what is important right. about it. Until the same lady, this same lady, she said one day she went to work and she left her phone. Um, she lost her phone. Then she called, um, um, when she left the phone, she called the man that, I've left my phone, I'm down, I don't know what to do. And the man said to her, don't worry at all. Why are you so down? Don't worry at all. And she told the man to um, find a way to replace the phone for her. The man said, I will not do. Not knowing the man, because, of the, because the phone was missing, <laughs> ah, Jesus. Because the phone was missing, the man, and this time around, the visa had not come. So the man had booked for holiday at Zanzibar, Tanzania. That's right. So that they go and meet over there. So the man booked the holiday now with the wife went to Zanzibar for the holiday. When they finished the holiday, the man now said, my wife, your phone is missing. Get, get iPhone 15. That's right. The girl said, prophet, nobody has ever. And I said, this altar will cause something to happen. <laughs> now, let's watch it. Let's go. Have Worship International. Testimony City. The Testimony the City. Pause it right oh, now. Very, very on a zoom in. Let's go. We pray. Miracles, they happen. You know, today is 2nd October, Wednesday. The time is 11 p.m. You know, you had a powerful service, but I'm really angry at the lady because she had a powerful testimony she was sitting on. Can you imagine? This young lady is a beautician that one day, she had an off day. She didn't want to go out to work. And they had a client, and the client told her that, I want you to work on me. If you don't come and work on me, nobody should do my hair and my nails. Then she said she came out. When she finished, somebody told her to pass through the mall. Mm. Is it Malcolm Malcolm. Or Malcolm or Malcolm or Malcolm or? Malcolm Moore? So she passed over there. Whilst going there to buy ice cream, <laughs> she saw two men. And one, 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 one man saw her and said, I want to marry you. She said, Ah, but you don't know me. No, no, this man has come from America and wants to settle down. And the man too is a white man. This lady thought they were joking. She said she went to him. The man called and said, I don't know when I saw you. In the space of three months, the man came down to come and marry this lady. They started the process. And this time around, she said... Look, look, look at the pictures. Look at the... Oh, 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 oh what are pictures? You, you, are you will never amount Media. to anything. Not marry this lady. Look they at started it. started the process. This is proper, proper. Not, not the other one. This is proper, proper. That's right. Let's go. And this time around, she said family members, one particular family member told this lady, you, you are a vulture. You will never amount to anything. 
nothing will happen for you. So when the Oh, oh, listen, this woman's convention, right? Jesus. On the Wednesday, this grace will be released over here. Amen. She came to see me for if, if, it's, if, it's, so had if it's going to another side, it will pass your direction. Amen. That's right. We say, all turn out called German by fire. That's right. Media, can we move? Me say, oh, Nothing will happen man. for you. So yeah. when the marriage even came, she quickly and the few family members did it. Later, she was there. They heard it from the hometown. We have heard you are married, and we'll see what will happen. We will see whether you will go. She came to see me for prophetic directions. We prayed, brought her passport. We declared for God to come to. But proud to that, she was already dating a guy, and the guy broke her heart seriously. And she said, my, my senior brother, Dr. Mark, came to Ghana and was prophesying in the service and called her out and said to her that, Somebody has broken your heart. Don't worry at all. Don't go back. You will get somebody that will take away your reproach. Yeah. That was when all these things happened. And to the glory of God. And now, all her family, nobody has traveled before. She said, it's the brother who traveled. And why, why, why did your brother go to? Dubai. Dubai. And look at America. So she had this testimony sitting down in the service. I said, no way. Let's record. So we'll play it on Sunday. Why? Because she's traveling on Saturday. To the glory of God. And Lady, the Monday and, and the Monday is a court marriage in the US. Oh, so that's why you have to rise. So you are going to do proper court marriage. So you, your name is going to be on everything. You court marriage, everything. So you go, hey, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And what about this? I have a testimony to. He asked her to share, and I wasn't sharing, I was sitting up. So he asked me, why am I not sharing it? And yes. I said, they stole mm -hmm. my phone. I don't have a phone. And you asked me to come for your phone. So when I was coming, you were like, oh, if I come for your phone, what about the people that will come for wow. uh, prayers? So you, start, you asked me if I want a new phone. And I said, yes. Yeah. So immediately when I came back from the, um, after we closed, yes. then my mom called me, like, why want a, a new phone? Yes. And I said, yes. And he was like, I will surprise you. Wow. But before he was like, Oh, they steal your phone, go and get iPhone 6, something yeah, small normal. to use. So he was like, Oh, no, they steal your phone, you are scared, right? And I said, Yes, I was like, Let's go to um, Zanzibar for vacation because they stole your phone and you are traumatized. So wow. Let's go. Then so because he they stole your phone, <laughs> because they stole your phone, he took you to holidays in Zanzibar, sure. Tanzania. <laughs> Continue. I don't have time. Continue. <laughs> then you go to iPhone 15 there. God, God, God has seen your story. Oh. <laughs> this is a powerful testimony. Let, let, listen, your whole family, what nobody has ever received, you have received. Mm -hmm. I know you said you come from Volta, right? But when, uh, when, when you stay here, uh, you come from Anna, uh, and when you stay here. Let's go. Spin test. Spin here. Uh, You've been through a lot. So yeah. now the guy that broke your heart now. Oh, now you're like, hey, he was uh, last time. Yeah, the last time he saw me, he was crying like a baby. I was like, no, 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 you have married, don't mind him. And if they are not left you, I cannot have this one. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Now, no, I'm Dubai. always thankful to you because if you are not there, I'll reject this man. But wow. I'm thankful to you that I advise you. you and I told you the altar will come true. Child of God, listen to me. Your marriage is coming. Your marriage is coming. God bless you. Listen to me. Never disconnect from Pui. You have our numbers, you have the website. Connect, always watch online. Whatever you are doing, partake. I've seen that you've taken the cathedral this thing. Mm -hmm. The cathedral is waiting for you. And, and I like the way you have pledged and you're saying, God, remember me. You sure. make money, you make wealth. Mm -hmm. Never disconnect from poverty. And when we come to America for conferences too, we shall be with you. Um, Which state are you going to? Um, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Why, Illinois? Wow, wow, wow. God bless you. Go and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mom, Probably with the prayer. Yeah, I think that's it. Wow. Another thing too. Wow. Now he got me a uh, four plot of land at um, I'm from. He got to four plots of land? Yeah. <laughs> your testimony is plenty. Some of the lift up Jesus. Test, make us much wrong. Listen to me. Listen to me. Say grace be bow swallow. That's right. She says, some say, prophet, I'm thankful to you. Because when the guy broke her heart, no. She came for broken heart, too. And I told her, leave him. God is bringing somebody. That's right. There's no word God brings over from this altar. That Jesus. doesn't work. You two, I pray. Yes, Lord. Listen. Listen to me. On that um, women's convention, um, prayer meeting day, it will be, I think, Tuesday night and uh, Wednesday. 
I will release grace. And hear me, this is not for marriage only. Strangers that will be kind to you forever. Man. When you are coming on that Tuesday or the Wednesday, bring a token for perfume. Bring it. Don't go and buy new. Don't go and buy a new one. Just the perfume you have. We will declare it and spray it for seven times. That God. When they are looking for thousand, one person out of thousand, Jesus. they will bypass and come and look yes, for me. Lord. The guy, listen, the guy came for somebody in Ghana. But the guy right now, I don't know the girl. I don't know what happened to that girl there. That's right. I declare, let the altar speed. Amen. Now there's a testimony I want us to watch. And this one to surprise you. Let's watch for the young lady. Yes, Sally. Let's go. Yes, let's go. He put me Sally's photo. The young lady from yesterday, her picture. This young lady. The girl was just there one day. Then she had a small bite on the leg. When the bite started, she thought it was normal. She felt heat all over her body. Vomiting, feverish. They took her to hospital. She can't walk again. Next day, she can't walk. That's when her friend, where's Kezia? Kezia here? The friend quickly came to church on a Tuesday. She showed me a picture of prophet. Look at my friend. Look at her leg. I said, what? I said, accident. She said, no. She was just there. And in the night, that's it. I told her, this is serious. This one, just don't, don't even go and get any mantle. Get the mantle and get some of the ones I've used. Go and put her in the hospital. She went to put it in the hospital. The girl said in the night, she saw black wing insects. Coming out of her legs. Plenty, plenty, plenty. So she quickly turned on the light and her phone light to see whether the thing is real. Her leg is damaging. Prayed, saw the face of God. Now after she used the mantle, then God came through. So right now, wait. Let's see how it started. There are seven pictures. So number one, when the first bite showed up, look at it. It only came as one bite. Let's see number two. Now the whole leg is becoming red. Number three. She's called Sally. Listen. Now more being for a bravo niagro. The fourth one. Five. So after she started using the mantle, not now, you can AU six and seven. Let's go. So now, this is the like last one, right? So now that, now that is healing now. If she see her, come with your friend. Where are they? Come. Clap your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Come. Come up here. How are you? God has delivered you. Yes. And, and sister, God bless you for being kind. The way your friend... Oh, clap your hands and bless God. <laughs> Listen, she's a good friend. How long has she been your friend for? Like, no, more than... Like maybe seven years. Seven years. Yeah. She's very good. Because that day I was seeing many people, but the way she came through to fight to, for your case, it means she, she loves you. That's right. She came and said, Prophet, my friend is dying. So with all this time, you couldn't walk. No, Papa. I just like that? Yeah, just within two days. You couldn't walk? No, and the leg was really swollen. It was like three times the size. So the leg became like three times the size? Yeah. Let's see how it became. Again, let's go. Pictures. Okay, yeah, face here. Yeah, face here for the production. <laughs> I don't joke with my testimonies. That's right. Preaching with no testimonies. So what were they preaching for? Everyone say, God of Abraham. Have you seen Abraham before? But you know Sally. So you can go to that God. I saw that you healed Sally. That's right. Look at it. And look at where, where the, uh, the yellowish thing came. Let's go. So you saw, you saw black wing. The moment she brought the direction to you, they're talking to you and you put on there. Yeah. Then, then in the night... Yes. You saw black wing insects yes, Papa. coming out from your leg. Like a lot, a lot of them. Like, I, huh, like a lot. They were just flying up. 
So I took the phone. Um, at first, I thought it looked like smoke because it was dark. So it was plenty? Yeah, so it looked like smoke. So I took my phone and then I put on the torch. Then I was just looking at it. I was just like, I couldn't see it. I was just looking at it. <laughs> Papa. And then. The world is dangerous. It just disappeared. Is that what you want to say? <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Power for Your Living podcast. You can contact Prophet Daniela Martin on www.danielamartin.net or call the toll free number 1 844 314 7337 or call plus 233 240 799910 or email amoatt at hotmail.com. If you were blessed by this message, you can prayerfully consider partnering with this ministry by giving your offering on www.danielamwating.net or cash up, dollar sign, power of worship, one, or PayPal, info at danielamwating.net or MTN mobile money, 055-0000881. Thank you. You can worship with Prophet Daniela Mwating at Power of Worship International Ministries, Spinters Road, Accra, Ghana, or any of his international branches across the world. Visit us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, Clubhouse, at Daniel Amwating, or Zoom, dubbed Open Heaven Zoom, this and every Thursday 